I just pressed record. I can hear you peeing in the background. everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren if you didn't catch that already and today I'm going to be talking about my zero waste, low waste products that I use around the house and as my skincare products. As you probably already know I'm a huge advocate for the environmentally conscious lifestyle which is what brought me to veganism in the first place and is why I have several zero waste products around my house. If you've never heard of the zero waste movement I'm actually going to read you a quote from my friend Kelly. Catherine. She has a blog called Going Zero Waste and she also has an Instagram as Going Zero Waste. One of her blogs is talking about basically what is zero waste. So I'm just going to quote her. She says, the simple answer, we aim to send nothing to a landfill. We reduce what we need, reuse as much as we can, send little to be recycled and compost what we cannot. That is her answer. I recommend giving her a follow. You can kind of read more of that blog post. I could go into more about what zero waste is and why it's important, but today I'm just gonna go through the products so you can just kind of have a rundown of maybe some things that you can swap out in your everyday uses. You want to reuse things, you want to recycle. What you're looking for in products is either glass that can be recycled or cardboard paper, which could be biodegradable or no packaging at all. So let's dive right in. I'm gonna start with my beauty routine bathroom products that I have. First of all, there is a pop-up shop here in Nashville um, that I actually just found recently that's called the good fill which I will link down below of course she loads up these bottles it's vegan sustainable um, she makes it all herself shampoo and conditioner and when I run out I can just go get these refilled and I never have to pay for the plastic shampoo or conditioners cruelty free and vegan so that's like a major plus to wash my face and wash my body I actually just use a bar of soap which I left in the bathroom but basically it's just a bar of soap um, and you can get those at like bulk shops there's lots of vegan zero waste bars of soap that come in like cardboard, which you can throw in the recycling bin or compost if you have a compost. To take off my makeup, I actually use coconut oil. Most makeup wipes have a bunch of like chemicals and covered in plastic. So um, this is actually a container that is plastic, but normally I would like to get coconut oil that is in glass. I was just last minute needing makeup remover. So I got this coconut oil. I just use like a normal washcloth to take my makeup off. Works like a charm. This is hairspray. It is also from the Good Fill. When we run out, we'll just go to one of her pop-ups and she'll just fill this back up for us. There are probably resources around you that have zero waste and bulk items. I actually found the Good Fill by just looking up, I think it was Nashville Zero Waste. Ask around, go to your farmer's market. A lot of those people know other people who are involved in the zero waste movement. I use this natural loofah as a body wash. Yeah, it's pretty simple. This is a dry brush. If you don't know what a dry brush is, I recommend looking up the benefits for it. It's good for your lymph system, removing toxins, it's good for exfoliation. So these are our toothbrushes. They're just like in a reused glass jar. They're bamboo brushes. Normal toothbrushes are just, they can't even be recycled, so they just end up in the ocean, which is no good. And it's from the company Brush With Bamboo. This may come as a shock because I know a lot of people have a reaction to having baking soda in their natural deodorants, but I actually just use baking soda Soda. As deodorant, it's the only thing that's worked for me. Maybe that's not good to do, but it is a zero waste option. I get the baking soda that comes in a cardboard box and then I just fill it up in this glass container and I use this and a little bit of essential oil like on my fingers. I dip it in there and I just rub it in and it works like a charm. For a face mask, I actually made this face mask with like amazing products at this local tea store here in town. They just started doing this. It's an herbal face mask. It's got like chamomile, oatmeal, uh, green clay. So it's super good. Obviously no plastic. You know, they give you the option of the glass jar. There's all kinds of different brands for menstrual cups. And I have the Diva Cup and I've been scared for a long time to use it, but next period I am planning on using this and uh, basically we don't want to be using tampons because most cotton is just filled with pesticides and there's not even ingredients listed on tampons and like that area is one of the most absorbable parts of your body so you're just absorbing anything you put down there straight into your bloodstream again I could have like a whole nother video on that look it up if you haven't already these I don't know if they are completely zero waste but they are more on the low waste side of things this is my favorite perfume it's amazing it's by this company called Dead Cool. 
Dead Cool? Yeah, Dead Cool. It's uh, by a girl who lives, I think, in LA, and she's 21, she's awesome. The fragrance number one, zero one, it's unisex, it's vegan. It's in this glass container and it just smells divine. Like, I smelt it and I was like, that smells like me. Like, that's, I, I need that. And it's like natural. But it's just amazing, just look it up, dead cool. And then the brand Osea. Again, I don't know if this is completely zero waste because it does have some plastic on it. This is my eye cream, but it is a glass container and I think all the other parts can be recycled. Now on to my household products. I'm just gonna kind of run through these things. Again, if there's anything you want me to really dive into in a specific video, just let me know down below. So first of all, it's a wood cutting board. My sister gifted this to me and Adam a couple Christmases ago and we love it. We use it all the time, um, it's better than using the plastic ones which actually harbor a lot more bacteria and yeah it's biodegradable instead of paper towels I actually haven't bought paper towels since being with Adam like we have never bought paper towels together and we've only used these guys so basically we use this to wipe things down to cover things up with to wrap things in they are just anything you use a paper towel for you can use these guys for even wiping up little puppy accidents and then they get washed you know it works. Glass straws. Actually, this is, I have a couple metal straws, which we don't use for coffee because they're coffee snobs and we think it changes the, the flavor just a little bit of the coffee. Um, so we use the glass ones for that. But basically, it's pretty self-explanatory. I think pretty much everyone knows by now that plastic straws are completely avoidable and completely useless and very wasteful. Save the turtles and use a glass straw. We use several natural wooden bowls in our house. We have normal ones too, like normal bowls, like glass bowls, but we also really love using the wood ones. They feel really good and they're cute. And again, they're natural, zero waste. Same with these guys, same deal. It's wooden, you know, biodegradable. They work really well and they don't change the flavor of the food. If anything, they just bring out the natural flavors in the food. As far as containers go, like Tupperware, there's ton of glass ones. I think you can get these at like Target, Walmart, I think. They're not hard to find. So get you some glass containers. You can also use mason jars. This is a really big mason jar and kind of leads me into my next thing, which that's a whole nother video as well, but try to buy as much food in bulk because that way you're not buying just single packaged little packages of rice or packages of lentils or quinoa or anything like that. Um, so yeah, go to your bulk section. And if you don't have bulk section, again, look for like a cardboard box rather than like the plastic or glass. But anyway, this guy, here's another example. I have our lentils in here. This is a laundry detergent. It is from The Good Fill as well, which is the local, basically zero waste household bulk items, if that makes sense. She does like refillable. It's called The Good Fill. So it's like a refill station. Do you know what I mean? Again, I'll link it down below so you can really check it out. This kind of goes without saying, but don't use plastic silverware. I mean, it's silverware. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. That's what we use to eat our food most of the time. Sometimes we're, you know, animals and eat with our hands. Okay, so this was actually a mistake. This is plastic, so oops. But normally white vinegar can come in a glass bottle, although this does say it's it's recyclable. But still, you want to use as much not plastic as possible because plastic, although it's reused, it can be sometimes recycled and reused. It's still plastic, like it's just going into another thing. It's still on this earth. Does that make sense? The reason why I am showing you this in the first place is because this guy, the white vinegar, can really be used in place of a lot of household cleaners. Um, you mix it with water and essential oils, and I, I think I'll do a a separate video on all my essential oils and how I use them. In case you're curious, let me know down below if you'd be interested. This guy can replace a lot of, of those products as well as um, baking soda can as well. So next up is our coffee system. Now I think French press is the most zero waste way to make and have coffee because it doesn't include anything but like coffee beans and water. And we do have that as well, but we also really love the experience of um, pour over coffee, which is this, they're both glass. And if you have a biodegradable coffee filter then you're pretty much set next is our dish cleaner which I absolutely love um, we're we're obsessed with this basically it's by the company nature fiber and just like pretty much everything else I've shown you it's biodegradable the head actually can come off I don't know if you can see that but it can actually like pop off that part can be replaced so I can I don't have to pay for like the whole thing whenever this kind of goes dull it's plant-based fiber and it works super super well I just hang it up to dry and boom we're good to go lastly but not least is our grocery bags actually so this one is from 
the Package Free Shop, which is owned by Lauren Singer, who is the voice and owns Trashes for Tossers. You've probably heard of her. She's definitely a zero waste activist that most people have heard of. But anyway, I'll link her shop down below as well. She has a lot of cool stuff. So that's from her. This is made by a family member. This is from a coffee shop that Adam works at. This is from our church. This one is too. This is from the company The that I got my wedding dress from. This is from a dog little party that we went to. Never stop wagging, so on and so forth. So you can just basically all the little bags that I collect over time, um, we end up using for our groceries and it works super, super well. I think that's gonna be it for today. I was thinking about maybe making this an essential oils and zero waste product video, but that would be way too long. Let me know if you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see the essential oils video, if you would like me to make that, just comment down below, let me know. Bye. I just pressed record. I can hear you peeing in the background. So I wanted to say before I forgot, because I forgot to do this while I was sitting down and showing you everything. Obviously water bottles, plastic water bottles are the worst. <laughs> um, so I definitely recommend um, a company like Clean Canteen or Hydro Flask. What's another one? Uh, Swell water bottles. Swell, yeah. yeah, Swell, Hydro Flask, and Clean Canteen are probably the most popular ones. I love my Clean Canteen. Adam has one too and it's the best. Anyway, I didn't want to forget to tell you that.